Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today we're gonna have a little travel cooking adventure as we make a Persian dish called galia mahi, which is typically made out of uh, fish uh, because uh, mahi is Farsi for fish. But we made it with tofu to make it vegan and we couldn't find another vegan recipe for this at all anywhere, but we wanted to try it. So, uh, so we whipped that up. So let's talk about kahale mahi. We first discovered this dish in Berlin with our friend Berhad. And Berhad, I had just met and didn't know that I was vegan. So when he made this dish, uh, he ended up making it with fish in it and I couldn't eat it. Everyone seemed to be enjoying it. So I knew that someday I was gonna have to try to find a vegan version or find a way to make this dish vegan. While we were at the market the other day, uh, Sylvia saw that they had some fenugreek and the cilantro was on sale and those are kind of the primary ingredients in it. And so she grabbed a bunch of that stuff and last night we made it. So let's take a look. So there you have it, folks. That's gali tofu, <laughs> I guess. Uh, gali, gali maki vegan. And uh, like I said, we just replaced the fish with some fried tofu. It turned out so awesome. It's such a rich and interesting flavor because the tamarind and all the cilantro and the fenugreek and, the, and parsley, just all those greens cooked down to be a main ingredient in a dish when typically for us, they're just herbs or spices. They're something we add to add flavor, but we don't usually use them as a main ingredient in a dish. I don't know, I was really surprised. It's super lemony and tangy. Oh, I enjoyed it a lot. And so if you wanna, uh, if you wanna check it out, uh, I urge you go ahead, try to make it, especially if you already have some experience with Persian food and it's something you'd like to try, by all means, make sure you give it a try. But if you do, please let me know how it turns out in the comments. Now, primarily, if I make a cooking video, it's going to be cooking in a hostel or cooking somewhere abroad. But uh, because of COVID, this sort of is our, uh, our travel accommodation, is this Airbnb right now. And we're making do the best we can. So if you'd like to see more content like this, more recipes, more more cooking on the road. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button if you uh, if you like what you saw, and by all means, let us know if you tried it in the comments. Until next time, take it easy.